Hey everybody! It has been a really long time. I think I've gone through several hair colors through this video that I'm struggling through. On the mic is my husband John. Hey guys. Who has been witness to my struggle. <laughs> I have caught it on a video. <laughs> and just talked to me about it a lot, a lot, a lot. So many feelings, but I'm here. I'm back. I'm never giving up. I'm nothing if not determined, and that's what it takes to be an artist. It's just dogged determination, even when it's hard. This is certainly hard. Why is it hard? Bunch of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so many reasons. So many. You know, falling Good amount of time to complete, kind of lost some energy for the project, struggled with some areas. She still has no eyebrows, which is really irking me. <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> it's, it's a very... It just explains why there was a whole period of European style that didn't work out. Don't shave off the eyebrows. It's not a, it's, if you know, do I need my eyebrows? No, you don't actually need your eyebrows, but you can see why it's a thing. Yep. Yeah. So I'm yep. going to paint some more of this in today. Hopefully you'll be joining me to every one of you in the Big Art Quest. Thank you for hanging in. We're going to get through her eventually and then fun will start, I'm sure. Again. Just, do, you, do you remember fun? Yeah. I was just looking. Look, she really doesn't have any eyebrows. Mm -mm. She's. She's definitely eyebrowless. And she needs some refinement, but I'm not going to deal with that today. I'm not going to deal with this today. I'm just going to finish up this. And so I put out to that end some of the colors in the palette. All the rest are in the description below. But this is burnt umber, Mars black, yellow ochre, titanium white, zinc white. See, that's titanium, that's zinc, and yes, I can tell them apart. But if you have trouble, you can always look at them like this because if it's very transparent, it's zinc. Uh, doxazine purple. Burnt Sienna, a little ultramarine blue, and some glazy medium, just in case it gets real. <laughs> Is it going to get real today, John? I don't know. I think it's. I think it's. I think we're already real. I almost put my brush in my coffee. It's just a big. It's a, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Struggles. It is. All right. It happens. So basically, I think now I'm going to get into this thing where I'm going to take my yellow ochre and my uh, Mars black, and I'm going to make a pretty deep value. And I'm going to just work out some of this where I feel like I've got it. I had started this with some purple with complementary colors. But now I'm going to start getting into the feels of it. Trying to improve its, its elements. Got to get its little elements. It's really quite a thing. And like sometimes I just want to, I even want to get it closer to me actually. What's that? This. Oh yeah, you can just bring it right over there. Dude. <laughs> Because it's just, you gotta, you can't paint what you can't see, you know? I do. And I feel like I want a smaller brush. See, this is, this is my uh, strategy to get out of things when I don't like doing them, is I suddenly have lots of little technical problems. <laughs> <laughs> right? And these are my technical problems. I'm going to get a, a number two Cambridge out. Yes, I love Cambridge brushes. They're not, I, I have some in the packs of my line. They're not in my line. They're just made by my brush maker, but they're a brush I really like. All right, so I'm going to get in here and keep going with my now smaller brush. Because, you know, eventually I, I might get through this. Just maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's been a journey. I added some zinc white there. I'm just trying to. Oh, man. You know, sometimes you just got to go slow and think about one maybe small area. And then expand past it i love it someone's called like it's like the one time i'm like considering answering the phone while we're recording <laughs> like oh no no i've got to answer this phone call oh the video well my the my, video my apple watch told me who it was oh it said scam likely oh was it a scam likely <laughs> so i could just hit nope reject. nope i'm gonna add a little bit of the um uh, titanium white to this as I move forward and just keep going. That's just not light enough. It needs to be quite light, actually. Oh, there it is. Gotta make it quite, quite light. Oh, here we go. So just bringing that in. I'm talking about these areas that are lighter. Like you do. Like you I'm do. supposed to be. No, like I used to do before this painting came and ate my face. Ate my face. My painting ate my face. It will never be you. Boy, this is going to be like legendary on the channel. Do you remember when the Sherpa got completely rolled by painting? <laughs> it happens. It does. It happens. It does. It really, really happens. And it's it's tough to get through. 
super tough and this one's been but here's the good news by the time i get to elfish like oh my gosh all the rest of them are going to be like this real easy breeze and i'll <laughs> yep forget what this was like much like childbirth <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and then you forget and you're like you know about four or five years later you're like yeah that's a good idea i should do yeah. it again luckily that that time is over yep nope after you have that you know you, no you get the kids. second one, and then you're the third one. You're like, do I really want another one? Maybe. You say, yeah, let's have a third one. And then you're like the fourth one. No, I'm, I think we're. I think I think three times on that roller coaster was good. Your sister went for the full four. You know, that's that's like committed to the you know to the full carnival experience. Well, she is, but she's very organized, and she, you know, can stay home and really run the house. So e-ticket ride, so to she speak. did. She did the full e-ticket kid ride, and I admire that. That's an okay thing to do. We, yeah, no, I mean, I'm just feeling way at, way outnumbered at three. So, John, if you're wondering, like, gosh, lady, you're not even teaching. Well, by this point, I'll play you know the techniques, and I'm just trying to get them done. <laughs> So get her done, son. So tell them what you're doing there. You're, so you're right the... now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to discover the highlights and the shadows and those midtones in the fabric so I can begin to describe these folds a little more accurately with my paint. And that's always kind of a little bit of a challenge because the paint wants to fight you there some. Yes, it does. It does. It says, oh, man, I don't want to talk about this. And you're like, come on, just talk about it a little bit. And the paint's like, no. And you're like, man, you've got to talk about it. And I'm now I'm going to break because I'm going to get the diox in there. I like the diox. It it does some great stuff with the yellow because they're complementary colors. They gray themselves out. And I'm getting some zinc here. And it'll help me kind of work through here. Just trying to enjoy this space. It's just been a hard painting for me, John. Yeah. I'm getting well. some glazing medium so it blends through here. And then I'll come back and blend again. Why? Because then the blending never ends. The blending never ends. It just doesn't, man. It goes and on I would and like on, it my to friends. <laughs> this is the art that never ends. Oh, it draws on and on, my friends. I started painting it not knowing what it was. And I'll be forever painting it alone here just because this is the art that never ends. This is the end of my YouTube channel. I'm adding highlights right here. I'm just Actually, looking for little spots in the fabric. To talk about these little highlights and lowlights that happen in these folds. So it's a very fussy piece, isn't it? Yeah. It's fussiness. Do you have fussiness in your life? Not, you know, not, not like this. No? I take that back. Hey, that RV right. was something. I you, think you were through that in the RV. RV is brute force and, and determination. Brute force and determination. Although I have to say get some yellow and some white so I can kind of talk about the the light shining through the fabric. The uh, uh what has required some subtlety is the, getting through the technical on this. Yeah. On the RV or the studio, the studio. or Oh my gosh, like so many times trying to get these things to turn on and be happy about being turned on. I'm rinsing out cuz I'm going to add some shadows here. I'm going to go ahead and get my black and my purple maybe together and make a little mix of this. So they become a super compliment. Super compliment. I just made that term up, but let's all use it a lot. I like the idea of that. I'm going to just come here and make sure we're blending. Blend, 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 blend. Oh, she's like fighting me. You know, I think it is this this palette has just really been a journey for me. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. And not like that good kind of journey. No, it's not the good journey. I'm using zinc to blend out my little shadow here. <laughs> it hasn't been a good journey for me. Uh, I hope it's been know, a good journey. I, You know what's been crazy is every time I go into the big art quest and I can, I'm struggling right now to even comment in there. <laughs> You know, like, I'm it, like I love everybody, but I just, I'm just like I go. I don't know what to say anymore. It's so awkward. Well, let me ask you this. Mm. Okay, so I know things like the RV for me is a journey of completion. Yeah. Because I know for sure 
in the middle of that project, I'm going to be laying underneath a dirty, stinky, oily vehicle, dripping oil and mud and grease on me. And I'm going to be hurting and barely able to move my, my arm in some uncomfortable position. And that's not fun. I would think not. But the completion of the project makes it worth it. Yes. I hope that the completion of this project makes it worth it. In my experience, what keeps me going when I have no indicators, as I don't right now, that things are going to work out? <laughs> um, what keeps me going is that in the past, I've been here and I persevered through. And later, as I, as you know, I, I did things, it came out. And so I have this reasonable experience of, oh, I just wiped off my, um, my brush to get a lighter color here. Yep. Um, so I have this reasonable experience where in the past it's been kind of okay. And so I'm like really leaning on that to hope that it's going to be all right. Like, you know, if you think back to the Red Riding Hood, that cloak really came in super easily. And I thought that was going to be like this is now. And it wasn't like that at all. Now, can can you go back here and talk about, you've been putting some highlights on this on this. Yeah. This so I'm quote, trying to highlight the, 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 I'm really exaggerating. Let's look at this at a distance and sip my coffee before panic. So you can see I'm really highlighting the, the dress and it's got a very deep shadow and very bright highlights and it's kind of doing that. Um, and please, I'm not saying I'm a Raphaelite painter, so don't have an explosion in your chest, but it's got that sort of Raphaelite feeling of fabric. There are uh, my favorite art movement and I've done pieces from that art movement before, but they're Flaming June was like this for me. Oh, I yeah. I did Flaming June for his mother, and it was, it was just, it just, I practically dropped out of art school over that painting. <laughs> but you know but I got it done, and it's beautiful, and it's in her house, and she's very, very happy with it. So. One of the things I've, I'm going to let you continue here. One of okay. the things I really loved about your particular style and approach to the Raphaelite. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of the yellow and a lot of the zinc. I'm going to try to soften some of this as I go through. Is the strong oh glaze i'm gonna glaze this back which one i'm gonna do because it's i just feel like the values are a little bit high so i'm gonna come through here and sometimes if i just am pushing things a little bit too far i can come back with a colored glaze mm -hmm. and knock it back the worst that i would have to do is maybe um repaint it which at this point what would that even mean nothing <laughs> i'm just trying to uh make this a little more subtle like the fabric actually is and i'm i'm overreaching my values so by knocking it back with this glaze you can see i'm getting it more into the let's look at it at a distance see that kind of pulls it back more into what she's got going on in her dress does that make sense to everybody yeah that's why i like i like hey. just oh. this product acrylic glazing liquid by golden me, Just me, that one. Let me quick ask everybody here in okay. the chat. How are you guys? What do you think? Wait, they're not here. I know. That's been the other hard thing, hasn't it? Just having none of the... There's no chat. Where they're are you not guys here. At? We miss you. So, yeah, because I've just over... Oh, that just did a lovely job, didn't it? It did. It really did. They just totally got it. I'm going to get a little bit of my burnt umber and my yellow ochre together. See how that goes. Just get some of this. Watch me put it back now. But the thing is, is it's just, I, I had to subtle, subtle it. You can easily work some deep values back, but sometimes it's hard to get that subtle space, like a mist. Sometimes you can't get that misty background effect. This is a secondary way to get it, is you just push it back with a little zinc and glazing medium. Strategies. <laughs> you got to have them. Yes. In your art space. Art path. How you doing, babe? Very good. Thank you for talking to me through this. I would just be done. What? Well, I was gonna say, what are the I'm things adding really these, like? these shadows back to those places that I have shadows, just to shadow back up. Shadow. I, I really Let's like see. how <gasps> in, in your art you create these almost cellular areas of color. Mm -hmm. that have very distinctive tones different from the areas next to it that maintain the painterliness, painterliness of it rather than blending them one to another. One. Yeah, no, I, I do have a tendency to work zones. Yeah, zones. That's a definitely, good Definitely. I definitely zone. I, I My really zones like that. are good, man. 
I am just trying to find this shadow putty color. This putty color is like the end of me. There it is. <laughs> putty! <What>? Nothing. <laughs> That was good. No, no, sh we're filming. Oh. Uh, so in case you were wondering, this is done at home. Yeah. That won't get edited out. That'll be just left. <laughs> what? My daughter's like, what? Uh, I'm going to get a little more black on here. Work it in. Let's get some zincs. Same thing. Let's see if we can create some subtlety here. Oh, that's nice. Just blend that over the bust. Just trying to find the space inside inside this area, you know? It's hard. It's hard, man. And I'm just I wanna freak out and be like, this this dress is just I'm gonna work through it forever. But I won't. At some point it'll come to an end and I'll be like, Oh, I really love this painting. Yeah, you'll get it all. Yeah. I'm adding kind of like that. There's this really interesting sort of structural line to the dress. And it's fun to paint dresses that have a lot of structure like this because you really get to look at light and shadow and how things are formed inside your two-dimensional space. So again, like I am right now, if anything is ever really challenging for you, lean into it. You know, feel free to cry about it, but definitely lean into it. Lean into it, man. All right. Lighten it, lighten it, lighten it. I just feel like that's... I have trouble sometimes with the hi-hat ranges, the the light ranges. The high-key. Oh. Yeah. High-key. Yeah, high-key ranges. Now, that I means tend like, to want to work a low-key, like dark values and stuff. Yeah, I, would, I, I like... I'm going to smooth this out. I'm going to blend this out. I'm wiping off my brush. I'm going to grab some of my glazing medium. And I'm going to just blend this out a little bit. And I wipe and I blend. Wipe and blend. See what I'm doing? Isn't that nice? Yes, I do. Yeah. I see other artists, like on YouTube, they'll have this similar struggle, but they edit it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you edited that. <laughs> Well, you know, it's. Uh, you, I think you're it's because we showing. have such a time frame of like attention span on YouTube. It creates a pressure. Well, yeah. I, I, I mean, love when artists share it. Sorry. Oh, no. I, that's what you're doing here is like taking all the time. Well, I'm not alone. Like, I, that's some other, oh, yeah, sometimes no. I'll see artists, they'll be very transparent about like, oh, nope, this is not, nope, not loving it. <laughs> and that's smart because it lets us all. Oh, look, the bust is starting to, like, become something, and she's really going to, she's really ranged right in with the seal. So, that's working really, really super well. Super well. Oh, wonderful. Let's keep going, man. All right, so I'm going to get some of this yellow and a lot of this ink. So, I need a very light value. We'll try to get this fabric that's out here. Coming in. Maybe wipe off even lighter value. More zinc. More zincs. There we go. That's that's the lightness I'm looking for. Incredible lightness of being. There we go. I see some sky and stuff through that. This is this is the part I've actually been looking forward to painting. <laughs> Oh yeah, why is that? There's a lot of light coming through the fabric, and to me, that's that's an enjoyable thing to paint. So I'm gonna pick the highlights here, like along this ridge, and you know, try to talk about those shapes. That's something else that you know what you do is you find a shape. So there's this shape here, and it goes in, comes out, goes up, and you just try to follow the shape. Don't take in the whole thing because it gets overwhelming. Just take on the shapes. To the best of your ability. And if you can catch those, those are great. And if you can't catch them completely, don't freak out about them. Just, just realize that you're just trying to see it better than maybe you had before. I love blending this out. 
and leaving that zinc there. Zinc's wonderful in that way because it's just so light and delightful. And fabric does some interesting things, I think. You're being so, how is it today? I hear, I hear. Really good. Is the switching like a challenge or? Oh no, I'm just, you know, I'm practicing new stuff, working on different tech stuff back here. So it's always a learning experience for me as well. Yeah, I get that. Gonna get a little of the yellow in here. A lot more of the zinc. little folds happening out here at the tip but really pull i'm going to pull this light in as much as as i can almost and maybe even talk about it a bit there so hopefully the dress is starting to pull into this almost mystical fairy tale space oh yeah it really is looking cool And I do like to turn around and look into the camera because it helps me see the um, full composition. It's lightening up. Now I can come back with titanium white, which will lighten up significantly, but I can use it in a more um, kind of considered manner. A little more... Uh, restricted and then there's these great pops of light value that can happen which are super wonderful i'm going to blend that right there and get a little bit of this uh little brown little black little purple wipe it out get my yellow ochre into it just trying to neutralize that color a bit And now I'm going to take this darker value, wiped out the extra pigment, and see if I can't come in here and glaze. Look at this. So this is me glazing in here. So what's underneath will show through a bit, but this will help me work some of the properties and be a little bit more subtle about it. And Lord knows I don't like to be subtle. <laughs> Just enjoying getting this on there. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it right here. Get some glaze on it. Glaze is really helpful. It is, man. It just uh, it helps you really, really find that space. Which I'm trying to do and get the paint in here. and See how we're doing. We're starting to get some fabric folds are starting to come together. Now, with this color... I've done my shadow and I can come in and really hit my highlight. Couple places. More even. More. 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 Play with the tip of it and talk about little bits of fabric which may be catching highlights out here as it flows out. In here. More. How's your more today? Looking good. I'm really just, you know, I, I like how, how this comes together. So sometimes I just get, I zone out watching you paint. And is it at of, all relaxing? Like, I sometimes yeah, wonder, no, like, I what really your enjoy. end of the job is like. I only had that one time to really do the camera on that one episode. So, were you painted? <laughs> yep. And I don't think that really gave me a, a complete picture of what your job feels like. I'm going to dip in water because the paint's starting to really dry on my brush. And that'll happen. I'm going to try to pick up some little highlights here through the fabric. see how we're doing there i think that's this is actually starting to pull together fairly well yeah like it's like her dress came in her dress is coming in man so again i'm going to take a little of this brown and this black a little bit of this purple 
creates a kind of really nice deep value for the dress. Yep. Which I'm I'm liking. And I'll go ahead and glaze a little bit because I'm also liking that a little more black. The glazing does let me play with a whole cadre of experiences. And I'm trying to catch some little folds, talk about some of the folds right there. This all is in much more of a deeper shadow, if you'll notice. More black, get the glaze. So we're able to really talk about some of these deeper values down here in the leg space. We can just try to find stories in the fold. And sometimes you you kind of get a story of the fold going. So you've got to lean into it. And that's okay. You know, if that's where it's happening, you, you just lean into that and tell that story. There we go. See how that's looking. So that's getting a little bit defined. And while I'm here, I can come in and get some of my zinc. And come in and tell some of this maybe in a little more described way. And so when I say described, a little more value stories. Not every value story, but more and more of the value stories. In the painting, in the folds of the fabric. Do, do, do. Fun to work this stuff out, I think. We always talk about little bits here and there that maybe are more highlighted. Yeah. Because of their little placement. Like that has a nice little highlighted piece because of its little placement. Hmm. And the transparency of the zinc really helps me because it lets some of the paint underneath um, really come through. So I can work areas, but then, you know, get back from them a little bit. And then, oh my goodness, this is just lovely. So I'm going to get is. some of my white. <laughs> Look at me, not hating it as much. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just, I think, how we live with our, our art, isn't it? Sometimes we've got... These little spaces. We're just trying to talk about. Pull in some of that light there. See how that's going. All right. I need to pull in some of those brighter highlights up top. A little stronger. Just enjoy. I'm just catching my brightest highlight where the sheen of the fabric is catching some light. Liking that. All right. Where are we at on time, Mr. Cooney? Oh, we're about half an hour in. So I think I could get a little seal in. Yeah, we could do a little bit of seal. Get a little seal. For a minute because the seal's super fun right yeah you're so fun mr seal Ooh, sip my coffee mm. making some head way i think that i oh, almost got done Tink Tink I'm gonna ah. cover. and now almost almost there he's there okay so okay got him Whoosh. there so, he is so i'm gonna use mr. a lot seal. of the same colors that i had in her in him yeah. So I had this nice light color. Uh, you know, I'll get a little bit of the gray in there, but it's got a, that smidge of the ochre. 
And so it's a very nice light seal color. I'll just talk about Mr. Seal Face right now. A little, little highlight at the top of the nose and maybe pull some sealing this down. Mr. Seal. Like you do. Like you do. Somebody does. Somebody better do it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get my glaze. Well, if you don't, then... Just to make sure that this area is sort of, it's it's blended, it's showing the color that's underneath. You're zoning. I'm going to create a little bit of a value there that shows that there's a flipper. A little bit of a shoulder, if you can see. And then I'm going to softly wiggle the brush back and forth to create this more subdued transitional space. And maybe get a little bit more, get the glaze back here. You know, it's always fun to grab a little bit of the the brown and the black. And you can even get a little bit of the ultramarine blue in there to cool the shadows. Oh, that's interesting. We talked about that in, you know, previous lessons. The idea that we are cooling shadows. We're just trying to make sure that his little head shape and some of the stuff that he's got going on. If you need to get the glaze, get the glaze. Get the glaze, get the glaze. Let's define that little fin there and kind of make him a little bit softer. Seals should appear somewhat soft. As I go back, I'm going to get a little bit of the blue and the black together. And that gets to be, I'm going to get my zinc, kind of the back tail end of him. And you can see it's distinctly different. And so we're talking a little bit about how things are shadowed and maybe even pull some of that blue black back here, right? Yeah. Now, in a second, I'll have to get my um, eyeglasses on so I can really see what I'm doing. But he's really starting to become a three-dimensional creature. Oh, yeah. Three-dimensional creatures. Let's definitely, definitely um, miss the palette because it's dry in here. Palettes in the mist. Palettes in the mist. And I'm going to get a very small brush. And here's the thing. You need a small brush. My number two filbert. If I have any, I'll grab that. Yeah, I have one. So I just need a small brush so I can start putting in his facial features. And to do that, I'm going to find different little areas of him and hit his little value as much as I can. Like the top of the nose. You now and maybe... Start talking about the light area under the eye. I have not painted a lot of seal. So it's going to be really interesting painting him. Gonna add these little highlights. So I'm looking for the little highlights on his face that I could start talking about. And then I will come back with a little bit of shadow and different values to build his form. Say, all right, he's got two little, kind of like, not dissimilar to cat space right here. And then I'm going to get a little bit of the black and brown, more brown. Go ahead and get your glaze. And I'm going to just make sure that that is covered. Little highlights there. He's got the little space here that's another little eye. And the other thing he's got is these little spots. So I'm going to get my brush with a little bit of the black and the glaze, and I'm going to make sure that I'm spotting some things. I'm going to wipe this out. I'm going to make these spots a little more subtle. 
Subtle spots. Give them subtle spots. Subtle spots. They're there. But you gotta look closely. But, you know, yeah. (laughs) They're just little fuzzy spots. Little fuzz. Little fuzz. They get a little bit of black. It's a little bit darker back here. Just so we can talk about these. I imagine these spots are super useful in hiding from sharks that are not our friend. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a little of my black and a little bit of my um, burnt sienna. Talk about some of the other colors that he's got going on in him. He has some distinctive little, little warm rust areas. But more glaze. Make sure we're building this ups, ups, ups. Bring this around here. Now maybe a little bit here. I'll pull that down. A lot more glazing. And get some of my zincs. A little, little yellow into my zincs to warm it up like it's in sunlight. Now I'm going to just talk about a few things. Shade that in a little bit. Yeah, I'm just adding these little highlights, these little spaces so he feels more sealish. I come and get some. This is interesting. We get some just white. I'm gonna come along that side of him. Just like he's been kissed there. A little bit by the sun coming around him. Now maybe a little bit comes down here. A bit reflected there. Yeah. Little bits. Right. Put some of this lighter color here. Little reflected light. Some of this. Sure, we've got this right there. Lighter color is always nice. Then I'm going to bring this lighter value around where the eyes would be. Take a little of my blue. Come in front on this side. So blue creates this impression of this sort of reflected cast shadow that's cooler but you can imply that there's some light to it that you might not expect. So it's a very powerful tool. Let's get some of our, ooh, the drip. If you use detail brushes and you wash your brushes deeply into the jar, you'll get little drips that hide up the stem and come down. So you gotta be careful and and do that if you don't want that for detail work. Now I'm gonna just bring this around here. We're doing better, aren't we? Yeah. And we're gonna just talk about this right here. Lots of reflections and things to talk about in the space of the eyes. Get my glaze on because I, I, I'm gonna start sketching it in, but I don't want it totally anything yet. Just the dark value of this space Mm -hmm. of what we're going to be dealing with. Get a little bit of black there. I'm going to shade right under there. And again, I'm just trying to talk about some of what's going on here. These little chins are important, I feel. Yeah. I have those little chins. I'm going to get a little brown. A little more brown. Maybe some glaze. So the glazes are letting me do some work in half steps or minor steps. 
I'm going to define that little highlight a little bit more. Let's get a little of our white here. There's this wonderful little highlight over the top of his little head I really like. Now, I'm going to get some zincs. My brush is still pretty dirty. That's helpful. Why is that helpful? Because all that little pigment I've been carrying around is going to yeah. come with me. And it creates a sense of integration in a painting. Um, a secret of some many, many artists is a dirty brush. Huh. Uh, sometimes, when you know how to use it, when you know kind of what you're going to do. So, like, if I touch it and I'm like, oh, that's just not what I wanted, I, I don't really struggle to find another place to put it. I just grab some yellow ochre to add to it and some zinc. You know? I'm going to just tap this and just sort of like... Er Almost like I do my moons. Mm. I'll bring some of highlight here. Definitely over some of this face. So let's look at him real fast. Oh, wow. He's sealing it up, isn't he? Yeah. He's getting his little seal on. Got to get your little seal on. I'm going to get a little of the ochre, but... Definitely into the titanium white. Come right here. Maybe a little bit right there. I'm gonna tap that right here a bit. A little bit. Okay. I'm pretty good. Rinsing out. I'm going to get some nice dark, dark, dark value. The black. Come in here and add some little sea nostrils. And get in here and add some little details. Now, I have to get into my fluid paint to do this next part to get his eyes or I will be lost. But, but I'm going to go ahead and hit some seal tail back there. So we're, let's get a little bit of our burnt uh, sienna on our black. And we're going to get a bunch of our white. And we're going to zinc white. And we're going to come back here and just make sure that this part of the tail has a little bit of a catch of a highlight in that part there. Just so we're showing that there's some light, right, that's coming through. Because he's got a little round body. I'm getting my little zincs. And so that would happen. It'd be a little bit of this light around the edges of his little furnace. So now he's got his little tail and he's looking up and he's looking interested and he's really staring straight on. And you know me, I'm going to get into the eyes. Yeah. And I need to find my detail, detail, details brush. Well, yep. I'm going to get this. This is looking so good. This will be over. In just a second. No, I'm not worried. Are, are we late for a call? No. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I'll be over soon, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some of this uh, burnt sienna just right onto my brush. And I'm going to come in here to the eye and I'm going to add it in this upper part of the eye. Right here in this upper part of the eye. Sorry. I'll wipe I off. Huh? I just missed that a little bit there. Oh. And I'm going to get Got it back there. a little of my burnt umber and black and this fluid white. Let's make a little bit of a little lid that comes down. Do, 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 do. I'm just trying to find these little highlights. It's not that much here. It's just kind of like right there. And I'll have to put the black back because I lost it. Gosh darn it. So that's, a, that's an interesting thing we've got to do here because his little, he's got some little modeling that I've also got to talk about. A bit here and there. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get my blue into my white. And it's the zinc white, not the bright white. I'm going to make this softer reflection right there and then a little bit right here to this outer edge. We're literally to the money shot. So now he's got a bit of that. You're going to want to come back and get some just black. And you are going to want to put some right here. Maybe a little bit under upper lids. This is subtle over here, but you need it. Now I'm going to get um, a little bit of my white. I'm going to go ahead and add a little reflection right here to this outer corner. And a smidge to underneath. A bit here. I'm going to get into this little light here. There's a very bright light right here. Another little one down low. Come in and just a bit on the inside of the nose. All right, let's see where we're at. Do we have a seal? I can't tell. I think so. Is he sealy? If you look at him in here, he looks really he looks really sealy there. He's sealy. He's as sealy as he's got to be, guys. Yep. <laughs> All right. So this is a good place to stop. We'll come back, finish her up, and then we can move on to the elfish. Yes. And there will be a party in this house. I don't know if there'll be a party in your house, but there'll be a party in this house. So uh, via video, it'll look like I just came right back. So I'll see you in just a second. Be good to yourselves. Be forgiving when projects are hard. It's really important. Don't tear yourself up. Don't beat yourself up and be good to each other. We're all just doing the best we can. I want to see you at the easel really soon. Bye-bye.